In this video, I'll show you how to make your own paint or whiteboard app in WPF using the built-in In Canvas tool. At the end of the video, we'll have an app that looks like this. Hey guys and welcome to Zool Coding. Today we'll be using the In Canvas control here, along with the UI controls I've added in already to make our paint app. Of course, feel free to design your application however you like. All the code in this video is available from the link in the description down below. I'll be writing this in C-sharp, but there's a VB.net translation available if you follow that link and scroll down. Let's set up the application first of all. Before we start, we'll need a plugin for the color picker in the UI. To install the plugin, go to Tools, NuGet Package Manager, and then Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. Then make sure you have the extended WPF Toolkit plugin installed. In the XML code, be sure to add this line to reference the plugin. On the right hand side of the UI up here, I've got a series of toggle buttons that will allow the user to select the editing mode from a basic selection mode, pen, highlighter and eraser. I've also added in a colour picker from the plugin we just added, which will determine the colour of the pen and the slider for the pen thickness. And underneath is a series of radio buttons for the highlighter colour and a razor type that I'll explain later in the video. Let's take a look at the C-sharp code. I've gone ahead and added all the event listers we'll need for our UI controls to save time. We'll also need to add in an import for system.windows.inc at the top. Now to tell the canvas what pen or highlighter to use, we need to set its default drawing attributes property to a set of attributes that describes the pen or highlighter, taking into account the colour, thickness, etc. Let's set up some attributes for the pen, specifying the default colour to begin with, as well as the thickness. We'll need a different set of attributes for the highlighter. We'll add in another set with the default colour yellow. This time, we'll set the height to 10 and the width to 2 to get the rectangular shape of the highlighter. We'll also set Ignore Pressure to True so that users with a graphics tablet won't be able to make the highlighter thicker by adding more pressure. And then finally, we need to set Is Highlighter to True so that the stroke is semi-transparent, as well as the stylus tip, like so. In the constructor, we'll set the default attributes to the pen attributes, like so. Let's add the functionality to change the editing mode of the canvas. We'll use an enum at the bottom to better describe the editing mode. If you're not familiar with enums, they're a good way of defining a set of possible values, and they're more efficient than using strings to describe the editor mode in this case. Let's define a function for setting the editor mode using the enum we just created. And call the function in each of the toggle button event listers, like so. In the set editor mode function, let's start by unchecking all of the radio buttons. And then use a switch statement on the mode variable to set the relevant toggle button to checked. For the select editor mode, we simply set the editor mode like so. But for the pen mode, we need to set the editor mode to ink and define our default drawing attributes as we did earlier. For the highlighter, we do the same, but this time set the highlighter attribute. And for the eraser, we'll set the editing mode to either erase by point or erase by stroke, based on the type of eraser we've selected. We'll cover the difference between these towards the end of the video. Let's test it out. As you can see, I can draw on the canvas in the pen mode and also the highlighter mode. I can also select strokes like this and move them out of the canvas, resize them and so on. We can also use the eraser like this. Now that's set up, let's change the pen colour and thickness. In the selected colour change event handler for the colour picker, we'll simply set the selected colour if the app is loaded. As you can see, it's highlighted this as an error, and that's because the value can be null. To get around this, we can set the default value if the colour is null using this notation. For the pen thickness, we can set the width and height of the pen to the slide value like so. Let's try it out and see if it works. 
Opening up the color picker, we can either select a color using the canvas, or pick one of the preset colors in the standard tab. Once I picked a color, you can see it's correctly changed the pen accordingly. I can also make the pen thicker using the slider. Let's get the functionality in place to change the highlighter color. As you can see in the UI, we've got three radio buttons that allow the user to choose yellow, cyan or magenta, but you can set the highlighter to have any color you want. In the code, we'll simply change the highlighter attributes color accordingly, like we did with the pen. Let's test it out. If I select the highlighter and change the color, it works as expected. Let's finish off by looking at the two types of eraser. In the code, if the user clicks one of the eraser radio buttons, we'll need to change the editing mode of the canvas only if the user has selected the eraser toggle button. Let's now try other two types of eraser. If I draw some strokes on the canvas and select the eraser toggle button, With the partial stroke eraser, we can erase strokes as you might expect, only erasing the part of the stroke that we go over. The false stroke eraser on the other hand, will remove the entire stroke should we go over it. And that's it, we've now completed our paint type. If you're looking for an example app with a drawn functionality like this, I've created a suite of WPF desktop apps that are all open source. I've also made a language in insight which is 100% free. Check them both out in the description down below. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest from Zoom Coding. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.